When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. She's given herself a name. It's Scaredy Cat. Mm. She says, I was walking through a haunted attraction with my husband and kids. At one point, I'm telling the kids not to be scared because it's all just pretend. Okay. Shortly after that, a clown covered with blood jumps out of nowhere, taps me on the shoulder. I absolutely freak out. Mm -hmm. I start screaming, wet my pants. And then I punch the clown right in the nose and called him a son of a bee. (laughs) And then, yes, there's more, we find... Out the clown is our 13-year-old son's teacher's assistant. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? Okay. Super embarrassing, especially for my son. Sure. Anyway, I felt like you guys would appreciate that. Maybe it will inspire others to share embarrassing moments so I don't feel like the biggest idiot ever. <laughs> Bless her heart. Uh, I remember. She punched. She's a puncher. Y- yeah. Yeah, I mean, I got to imagine if you're a scare actor... You get that a lot. I would imagine, too, because you don't know how people are going to react. Right. A lot of times people don't know how they're going to react until they're scared like that. Now, I I will say that my wife is not a fan of haunted houses. I will say that my daughters, at least uh, my older two daughters, are not fans of uh, haunted attractions either. I remember uh, taking them. uh, We had an appearance uh, a couple years ago. And I took them along with because they wanted to go. They wanted to, to check it out because they had never been before. And so um, they, they didn't even get to the holding tank, you know, where you kind of go into the attraction. You had to kind of walk uh-huh. through like a little area before you actually get to the holding tank to actually get into the attraction. They didn't even make it that far. And they were all already uh, their heads buried in my arms and they almost, I thought I was going to have to drag them through it. They, but you got through, we ended up getting through. Yes. They were absolutely terrified the entire time. Now my wife years ago, we went to one over in Jeffersonville. Maybe it was, uh, it was industrial right. nightmare. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. think so. I think so. Anyways. So we go over there and they they knew that I was coming with my wife, and they also knew she was. She said something maybe beforehand, like I'm not I'm not a fan of these. And so as soon as they heard that, they picked oh, on her the she entire. Was marked. Oh my she gosh, was marked. Marked yeah, the entire time. Yeah, yeah. And that was the one that had an entire room of Michael Myers, mm-hmm. and you knew one of them was going to come real. at you yeah, and chase exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that was a good one. I so we were out at uh, you know a place we broadcasted for years, big cornfield, right? And I took my son Jake. I, I want to say he was. 11 or 12 at the time and he's you know first time he's like all right let's let's do it we're gonna go through and i think we got maybe 30 seconds Mm -hmm. and he's like yep nope 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 i want to go i want to go i want to go i want to go and we turned around and just went right back out the entrance (laughs) Uh, because that is legit some of these places are legit scary um justin texted in and said i'm six five so haunted house people love messing with the big tall guy oh absolutely First haunted house experience i wasn't aware that performers could touch you they can get a little uh in your face yes and the very first room jason Voorhees jumps out grabs oh. me i punched him oh no oh, <laughs> oh we got another geez. puncher got yep, another lights puncher. came on we were escorted out the side door oh wow oh the lights came on yeah you, like, i mean they shut it down for you i i gotta think that there there are rules where i i don't think they can touch you anymore like like they the, the should scare, in today's the world they should not <laughs> they should not right right just Anyways. to be on the safe side if you've got a funny story feel free to share it 502-795-1997 oh. we'll get to some more coming up here next so we got this message from our listener cat who uh basically wet herself and punched the scare actor at the haunted house that she went to and was like hey i embarrassed myself does anyone else has anyone else done that? Well, and the actor ended up being her son's teacher's assistant. Yeah. <laughs> Oopsies. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oopsies. Exactly. Hey, Jasmine. Hey, guys. Hey, so what's your story? Oh, my gosh. I'm a puncher as well. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> Who'd you punch? I don't like haunted attractions, but as a young person, I was on a road rally, you know, like Nightmare Run. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in a big van, my mom, her friends, all my friends, we jump out to get the clue and leave the doors open. Uh-huh. And when we back to the vehicle, there's uh, a, a scare actor sitting in the passenger seat. Oh, no. And one of the moms that didn't get out was making him a snack bag. <laughs> <laughs> was making him a snack bag. Like, you, you've been out here a long time. It's cold. Would you like a snack, yeah. honey? Yeah, here's some carrots. Do you want a juice box? <laughs> it was ridiculous. I, I love that. I love that. Thank you, Jasmine. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, same road route. <laughs> we were being chased. And I ran back to the vehicle, threw the door open, and hit the scare actor in full in the face with the car door. Ooh. Oh wow! Oh, ouchie! <laughs> oh man! Oh owie! You've like you have got to be a special type of person to be a scare actor because you are probably subject to a lot of that sort of thing. You know, you got to think. Oh, yeah. So- yeah, you can hear her moaning on the ground from inside the car. And, oh dang! And my friends, my friends are like, "Get out and check." I'm like, "Oh heck no! <laughs> nope, nope, not no, doing no, it. Nope, I'm sure he's fine. Can't, you got to go. Can't get me to do it. All right, hey Jasmine, thank you so much for the Thanks. phone call. Bye guys. All right, see ya. Bye. Rebecca commented on Facebook. Not a scare actor, but I work at a haunt, and we've had people pee their pants, punch actors, and pass out. Yeah, Brandy, along the same lines of uh, the moaning and groaning, uh, she messaged and said, uh, went with a group of friends in high school. There was one room with nothing but Jason hockey masks on it, and I was like, oh, how funny would it be just to poke the eye hole of one of them and it be an actual person? So I did randomly, and of course it was the mask with the person behind it. He oh, groaned, gosh. stepped away from the wall. And had to have someone else replace him. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh gosh! That's funny. Oh, and all the other workers knew and had you know looked at me the entire time. It was sure. So embarrassing. Oh gosh! Uh, oh man, Monica. So I actually went to a haunted house in Pigeon Forge a few years ago. Uh huh. I was expecting a, a phone call for a job interview. So we were in the haunted house, we were in the holding room, groups of four, and my phone rang just as I went into the room. Oh, no. It was the job interview. (laughs) So I've been on a very serious face. Oh, no. I had a very professional tone, held on to the woman in front of me, and I did not know her, but I walked all the way through that haunted house doing a job interview. Oh and at gosh. the end of it, I got the job. Oh, what a pro. <laughs> that is, that's Thank incredible. You. Well done. And then when we got out of the haunted house, I, I just melted. It was horrible. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're, you're trying to keep your composure throughout the haunted Absolutely. house. Absolutely. While Absolutely. being interviewed for a job. That's amazing. Absolutely. That's aw- did the stranger behind you realize what was happening? Or the stranger in front of you you were hanging on to? Did they understand what was going on? I think she did after a while. I, okay. I think she was just uh, as scared as I was. However, I obviously had better composure. Yeah. That's great. I love that. Monica, thank you. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Got another message from a listener. Not embarrassing for me, but for my boyfriend at the time. We were at a local haunted house. He got so scared during the first jump scare that he pushed me down, took off running. <gasps> One of the actors picked me up and decided oh to make it his, his personal goal to protect me while also tormenting him. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that actor walked with me through the entire haunted house, and the rest of the actors made it their personal goal to torment my boyfriend, too. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. And now I guess we've figured out how he would do if he had to protect you in an actual emergency. Right, right. Oh, All right. Well, hey, these are good stories. Thank you, guys. Yeah, they're so good. Uh, we Gene fell down a flight of stairs. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, right. There's so many that uh, you can also comment on the thread on Facebook at Ben and Kelly Show.